Hey there everyone, welcome to Inside Android. Today we are going to see how we can create a splash screen for our Android app with the help of Jetpack Compose. So this is one of my old project. I have created this in one of the tutorial. I will mention the link of this tutorial in the card above. You can find it somewhere here. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's start. So if you can see here, this is my app and I created two screen here, screen A and screen B. If I was clicking on this button, I used to go to screen B. So since navigation was already added in this app, it, it is much easier to explain how to add splash screen here. Okay. So if I click here, it is going to screen B. If I click back, this is again coming to screen A. Okay. Here I am going to add another screen which will be screen splash. Okay. If I so to create a, sp a screen splash, I'll go here. I'll add new file. This will be a function. Okay. Here, if you go to new controller, we have to add our splash screen. Here, I have to add another constant. In my new controller, I'll be writing screen splash and just like this I'll be calling screen splash okay even in screen splash I'll be passing new controller just like I was doing for screen A if I go here okay here this will be my splash screen if I go to main activity you can see I have passed setup new controller and here my start destination is screen A here now i'll change my start screen to splash screen splash okay just like i am passing nav controller here the same way i am passing it to my splash screen so i'll be doing it this way and okay now cool so let us see how our app looks now so now my app is shown but there is nothing inside it because in a screen splash there is nothing inside okay so to to create this screen i'll add an image view here i'll just copy my logo go to res drawable and i'll paste it here in my screen splash what i'll do is i'll show a box that will be center aligned and then I'll add a image So if I restart the app, so now you can see I'm showing my logo here. Now what I want that after a time interval of 200, 2500 milliseconds, I should move directly to screen A. So to do that, I'll be using launch effect. This launch effect will be taking two things. One is key one, which is true. Okay. And for the block. Now, if you can see, this is a coroutine. Okay, so I'll be I can use suspend methods and one of the suspend method is delay and then after that I can navigate so I can navigate now let's see how our app looks okay the splash screen is, is shown oh sorry a bug here I have to call screen a here okay the splash is so shown and then we are showing our screen A. Okay, so our splash screen is created, it was shown, and we have moved to screen A. But you can see if I press back again, we are coming to a splash screen. Okay, this is a bug. To solve that, what I have to do is I have to call, I have to add pop up to and I have to pass zero. Okay? This method will clean everything in the back stack. Let us start the app again. 
okay the splash screen shown and we are moving to screen a now if i go to if i click on this i am going to screen b if i click back i am com coming back to screen a if i click back see the app is closed so this way we have created the splash screen but now if you can see if i start the app again okay so in my splash screen i can see navigation and the stop bar okay and i want to hide them okay in a splash screen i don't want to show the status bar as well as the navigation bar so to do that what i'll do is i'll create a util method it will be a show bar method i'll go to this link i'll mention this link in the description box here you just have to copy this implementation line okay you go to gradle script app now what i can do is this dot the system bar visible that i'll post it flag this dot is navigation bar visible that will be a flag and this dot is system bar visible bars visible that will be a flag as well okay i'll be calling this method from screen splash show bars here I'll be passing false because I don't want to show my bars. Okay, for screen A, I'll be calling it true because I want to show the bars. Screen B, I can be choosy and I can be calling true here. Okay. Now let us see how our app looks. Okay, as you can see, the status bar and the navigation bar is removed, and now we are coming back to our screen A. If I click on this, I'll go to screen B. If I click back, I am going to screen A. If I click back again, our app will be closed. So this is how you create a splash screen with the help of Jetpack Compose. Thank you so much. I'll be mentioning the link in the description box below. Thank you.